So there's a lot of situations when you want a part to be glued to another part, but very often what you end up doing is you end up coating the outer edges of the part and then gluing it together and dealing with just the surface finish of the traditional part to make it. But this is kind of a waste, especially when you're dealing with 3D printing. 3D printing is able to produce really complex geometries, so why not take advantage of that design flexibility to create a part that glues to another part way better than it ever has before? Today in this video, we're gonna talk about how to do that. And the very first step is with what we call just basic glue slots. You can take that traditional sort of bolt and just add some grooves along the outer side. This both creates more surface finish as well as just a better adhesion area and place for the glue to go. But in addition to that, sometimes you don't want to have to push the part into a hole and have all the glue shoved up the edge as you would with a traditional smooth bore. Instead, you can insert the part and then create channels inside of it so that you can press a glue into the top and then have it ooze out of the sides. You have these delivery holes along the slots so that you're able to deposit glue in it after it's already been placed in place, which creates a much cleaner application process because you have just a single point of entry. So that's a very simple way to have a complex geometry that's very difficult or expensive to manufacture in order to get some added benefits. The glue slots give more surface finish and you're able to deposit the glue after the part's already been assembled. So if there's a situation where you can't actually apply glue and then insert it, this is way more useful. If this rod was way longer, then you would have to deal with that type of a situation. But this adds several other benefits too. This is a very simple one where you just have a large hole that oozes glue out the side and goes along the slots. But again, if this was really long, you'd need more areas. And in that case, you can actually start putting depositing holes all the way along so that as you purge glue through this core bore, it's able to come out the sides of all of these different holes so you have a very equal pressure dispersion and you make sure you're getting a very uniform dispensation of it all throughout there. But the glue that you put in here now has an additional benefit. Usually glue is just to stick one part to another, but we are dealing with 3D printed pieces, which means you have a certain amount of strength reduction in the Z axis. This could snap off along this way. So you can actually use this sort of glue slot methodology to reinforce the part, like rebars inside of concrete. In that case, you would be able to create a much more complex geometry, where you have a single hole in the top, a point of entry, and then the splitting chamber inside of the head of the bolt itself. It then splits down to five separate columns to where you're running basically the these lines of glue through the center of the part so that after it's placed you shoot glue into it and now it's reinforced by the glue and you have much more perpendicular strength than you normally would have which is a traditional 3D printed part. This is a really easy way to reinforce a part without really adding an additional process that's really expensive or difficult. You're able to just run rebar up into the concrete after the concrete has already been run. But there is one more version of this as well. With all of these, this is after the part has been inserted. So once you press this into the slot and you have the glue slots down there, there's no place for the stuff to go. You can actually make this more complex and much more interesting by just adding a spiral to the outer side. This way you have a single channel. So again, you don't have to worry about one channel getting all of the glue and the other one's not getting it. You also are not certain if this is inserted into a hole, you don't know once you've filled them all because there's no presentation of it on the outside. This design actually solves that issue. This twisted thread improves both the strength of the part because again, you have full length glue adhesion throughout it, but then you shoot glue through the main bore, it goes to the bottom of the bolt and then it starts coming up the spiral and then it's able to come out the side. So you know when you fully filled the entire area with glue. So you know you have a reliable seal that gives feedback to the machine operators who are doing final assembly because they shoot glue in here and then they know it's full when glue comes out the side. But again, you have a very clean spot where the glue exits. So you can see where it is, you can wipe it down and then you have a very cleanly placed piece that otherwise you couldn't. These glue slots are a really good example of just the advantage of 3D printing. You're able to create really complex and dynamic sort of geometry that allows all types of post post-processing that traditionally was never possible before because it was just too expensive or outright impossible to create something like that. A mixing chamber inside of a part is unmachinable, period, ever. It could never be molded, it could never be made any other way. But now you're able to distribute fluids and glue throughout a part in order to have it dispensed where you need it 
when you need it after it's already been assembled. So it's much cleaner and requires much less skill because shooting glue into a single hole is way simpler than telling somebody to evenly coat it all and then press it in and make sure you don't scrape it off as you're going in and that kind of stuff. And it's a great example of how 3D printing gives you these brand new advantages because this process allows all types of geometries that couldn't really be created easily before. If you want to see other applications where 3D printing really improves the manufacturing process and how to design for 3D printing, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and leave us a comment down below of those types of applications you want to see. Other than that, have a great day everybody.